What will you be? It's more than just a question. It's a challenge. A challenge to take the next step to discover your calling to carve out your future. A challenge to pursue the knowledge and skills you need to impact the world around you. And we want to help get you there. So the real question is, what will you be at Diné College? Your future continues at Diné College. All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Nolan Begay. As she mentioned, I'm the Director of Student Enrollment and Student Access here at Diné College. It really is just a fancy title. That means that I oversee the admissions, the registrars, the that you will hear a lot about over the next couple years as you begin this transition from high school to college. Let me begin by first saying welcome. Welcome to Denai College. It is, it is beyond great to see all of your faces, even if half of it's covered with the mask. <laughs> Two years ago, the college, as a result of the pandemic, we closed our doors. We shut down and we turned everything virtually. We had no students coming onto campus to attend classes and everything was done via Zoom. You have no idea how tremendous it is to see all of you guys here today. It feels good to see student life again. It feels good to invite local high schools and staff and everyone and faculty to be in attendance today. This is a, this is a great moment for us. It's a great moment for you guys. A lot of you start today hopeful asking yourself, is college an opportunity for me? Is college something that I want to do? You know, the pandemic has taught us as an institution what it means to do things the right way. And a lot of you guys have been a part of that. You saw us transition from being able to offer programs 100%, but being more virtual, being able to offer our classes online so that a student anywhere can attend school. You yourselves in high school, as you guys went through the same thing two years ago, you were in person, and then we spent like a year and a half on Zoom, but now we're all full-fledged back. Today marks something great. Today you guys are joining the Net College as high school students, as freshmen, as staff, as faculty, but today you get to be the Net College Warriors. Today, you guys will see what it's like to be a student here at the institution. You'll have a lot of opportunities to learn. You'll have a lot of opportunities to grow. And more importantly, you're gonna have a lot of opportunities to just see what it's like to be a college student. Today, we start this journey of resiliency. Today, we start this path of obtaining a higher education, and that's what Danette College was here for. The Net College in 1968 was developed because a group of individuals came together and they said, we want a college for our youth. We want a college for students to be able to ascertain that degree. And you guys are a part of that. You guys are a part of that legacy. Today, we have the opportunity for you to earn an associate's degree. Today, we have that opportunity for you to earn your bachelor's degree. And we're excited to announce that this semester we offer our first master's degree in biology. And so this seed, this opportunity of hope so that you can obtain something that used to be unobtainable for Native Americans. Today you guys are one step closer to becoming high school graduates. Today you guys are one step closer to being enrolled in college. I like to, sh I, I want to tell you guys this, a thing that happened this morning. Some of you guys might be able to relate to this. Uh, some of you might, just hold on. For some of you, it might be a bit too early because you're not driving yet. So this morning, or last night, I came home, as I was coming home from work, and I saw the gas light. I saw that my vehicle needed gas, but I was like, you know, I want to go home, I want to relax. <laughs> 
And so I said, I'll do it in the morning. Like a lot of you, like a lot of us, we know we have homework that's due, but you know, I just kind of want to relax and watch TV. So I went home and then I laid down and I became a complete couch potato. This morning I got up and I had to drop my son off at school. And so we go out to the vehicle and I turn it on and there's still frost on the windshield. And he's ready to get dropped off. I'm ready. I see the gas light. I'm like, okay, I don't have time to let the vehicle warm up. So we just jump in. The heater's blowing and the windshield's still covered with frost. And we're like peeking out the window, trying to make sure that, you know, we're making it through our neighborhood. And we barely, barely make it to the gas station. And coincidental, coincidentally, the, the lines were down. And so I'm sitting here at the store this morning, like at 7.15. I have only a debit card. I don't have cash. And I realize in this moment that I rely very heavily on technology. Um, like you guys, we rely on our cell phones. We rely on our laptops. We, we have a need for technology. And so I'm sitting there. I'm scrounging around for change, right? And I, I find a dollar a dollar and change, and I go into the store, and I'm like, put this on, gas, pump three. And so I go, I take my son to school, and then I come back, and I'm parked at the gas station. Lines are still down. And now, how does this relate to what we're doing here today? That was an unexpected thing that happened this morning. So I'm waiting at the gas station. I'm feeling defeated. I'm... It was, I was at the moment, I wasn't as happy as I am now, but I was, it was like, what do I do? The lines are down, my vehicle has no gas. And in that moment, I will admit that I, I felt defeated, you know? And, but this is what happens as you obtain your degree. This is what happens in high school and this is what happens in college, that there will be opportunities where life will just throw a complete curve at you. You will not know in those moments, like, what do I do next? What am I supposed to do? And we, we live in that moment of just being frustrated. But as I stayed parked there, I realized that I know that I have a community. I know that my sister goes to work. And so I called her and I told her my situation. And she was like, oh, yeah, I have $5. And so she gave me $5. But I had a support. And that's the same thing that you guys will need. From here on out, as you finish your high school, as you begin college, you're gonna have to develop a support system. Someone who's gonna be there when you run out of gas at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but whether that's your friend, whether that's your family, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your auntie, your sister, your brother, or even here at Dinah College, your advisor. Your advisor, your counselor, or your faculty. In order to be successful, you, you're going to need that support system because you guys are obtaining something that's not easy. Education is not something that, if it was easy, it would, everyone would do it. But you guys, right now, I look across here, because you showed up, because you came to this event today, you guys start that path and you guys have that foundation to be successful. A college degree is right there ready for you. And with that support system, there will be times that you feel absolutely defeated, but then you carry on. And that's precisely how you guys will feel. And so as an institution, that's what we are. We're trying to give that opportunity so that you guys can say after high school, a lot of you will go off and get jobs and start careers and start families. But a lot of you also have the potential to start college. And that's what we're here for. So today, I want you to live in this moment. I want you to enjoy the experience of coming to Danette College. Today, you guys are college warriors. You guys are a part of a support system, a part of a family. So have fun today, laugh today, smile today, enjoy this. This is a time and an opportunity to rejuvenate yourself and to consider that college is a possibility. I thank you guys for coming today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. We have a lot of great entertainment for you. Welcome to the Net College. Thank you.
All right, next on our agenda, I'm going to welcome our guest. Um, they all come all the way from Chinle, Arizona. <laughs> um, we're going to welcome Garrett Sosi and his colleague Justin Tapaha with the Chinle Special Diabetes Project. And they're going to um, get you guys started on Hitch. All right. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. That's better. Um, like Shania said, my name is Garrett Sosi. I am the fitness specialist with the Special Diabetes Program. We are located in Chinle, on the same lot as the Chinle Chapter House. What we're gonna do this morning is a HIT workout with you guys, so high intensity interval training. If you've never heard of that before, you're about to. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this flat area where the grass is. Um, Justin, way in the back in the teal sweater, he is gonna demonstrate a lot of what we're gonna do and he's also gonna participate. So for anybody who wishes to participate, please head over and we'll start on this end of the grass field. Yes. If you have water, bring water. <laughs> yeah, just right over here. Okay, let me have everybody down on this side over here. So we'll make a line right over here. So working in a big group like we have today, we'll do our best to make this time as efficient as we can because we only have about a good 20 minutes. So. Just enough time to work everybody up, get you guys ready for the day. This is the first day of this symposium. No. Tomorrow morning, we will have a Zumba class with, again, with Justin, who's right over here. That'll be at 8.30 in the morning, so this will be kind of an idea of what you'll be doing the next two days as far as our program goes. So, everybody, can you see me over here? Wave your hand if you can see me, if you can hear me. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start from this end of the field. We're gonna go down to that light pole at the opposite end, if you guys can see that on my left, my right, your left, I should say. So let me have everybody from where this uh, parking or speed bump is, everyone on that side step forward. Everybody from this side, and the gentleman with the yellow hat, yeah, you, <laughs> you'll be the end of my line on that end, okay? So everybody between those two points, take two steps forward for me, okay? Everybody else on the end, on this end, go ahead and move behind this first group of people for me, thank you. I'm glad you guys have this microphone, I didn't feel like shouting this morning. But first thing we're gonna do, everybody facing me, what I'm gonna have you guys do is I'm gonna start with a light jog. Be mindful of the ground. There might be some holes on even ground. We're gonna jog down to the light pole at the opposite end. Go ahead, first group, go ahead. Yes, running. Next group, move forward, but don't go yet. See, when you guys are starting college, you gotta learn how to follow directions, so. Teaching you a life lesson here. Next group, set, go. All right, first group, can you guys hear me? Raise your hand if you can still hear me. All right, let me have you guys face this direction, facing this way. What I'm gonna have you guys do, Start in this stance, hands on your knees. You're gonna side shuffle. Coming back toward me, set, go. <laughs> I 
We're not galloping, we're side shuffling. Second group, don't go yet. The side shuffle kind of turned into this. <laughs> Just sidestepping. All right, second group, get ready. Go. When I do uh, demonstrations or workouts like this, I tend to get a little excited, forget to introduce myself fully. Like I said, my name is Garrett Sosi. My clans are Klasche Nishlen Toto Ne Bashishchin, Sanjukene Dashiche, Kuzetlane Dashinele. So forgive me for mis uh, forgetting to do that. All right, first group, get ready again. We're gonna go, not the full distance this time, but if you can see this metal pole sticking out of the ground about halfway, that'll be our stopping point, okay? So first group, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go with a forward lunge now, okay? So with your hands, you can keep them at your side, you can put them across your collarbone, on your hips, don't matter, set, go ahead. Make sure to watch your knees, don't hit your knees on the ground. All right, second group, move up, get ready. But don't go yet. All right, good job. Second group, sit, go ahead. Sometimes this um, exercise can bother people's knees, so if you guys do have knee problems, a good way to modify this is to go backwards. It's actually a little easier on the knee, so if that's the case, you can do it backwards. All right, first group, get ready. We're gonna do the same thing coming back, but now you're gonna go one, two, one, two, okay? Set, go. If you can, try to keep your hands off your knees. Like I said, you can keep them at your side, across your chest, on your hips. But just try to keep the hands off the knees. All right, second group, get ready. But don't go yet. All right, second group, sit. Go. Let's see if this microphone will reach way over here. Good job, good job. How about we hear it for the people organizing this event that are hiding under the tent? They should come over here and participate too. Maybe the camera people too. <laughs> My uh, coworker Justin here is actually training for a half marathon right now, so this is his warm up. You guys are going to run six miles with him here in a bit. I'm just kidding. All right, first group. Next one we're going to do is called a bound. So just think of it like a skip. But this one, you're going to go higher off the ground, okay? So I really want you to get like a running start. And when you go, get as high as you can. Up, up, okay? 
Set. Go. Second group, don't go yet. I said, hi, get high. Off the ground. Second group, sit. Go ahead. Go, Justin, go. Good job, good job. I think that's a record. People got tired in like five minutes. OK, so now let's change it up a little bit. So from this tree to my right, you guys kind of step over this way just a little bit. Everybody else on the left, my left of this tree, step over that way a little bit. So people on my left, on this side, let me have you guys jog back down to this opposite end, just this side. You guys on my right, you guys stay right where you are. Okay, go ahead. Left side only, go. I like how you guys all match in the sweaters. Are you guys the bouncers or something? All right, Justin, come on forward for me, Justin. Yep, Justin Tabaha. Okay, you guys over here, just uh, line up evenly. So use this whole space right here. Just move on down just a little bit. Same with you guys on this end. Move down just a little bit, spread yourselves out. So working with a group this big, it's not impossible, but it is difficult to do structured exercise, especially if you don't have equipment with you. But we're gonna make this more of an activity, okay? So this is a game that I call, or I don't call it, but it's called What's for Dinner, okay? So Justin is gonna ask the question. I'm gonna give him the microphone. He's gonna say, what's for dinner, okay? You guys on both ends, what you're gonna say, it's dinner time, okay? Soon as you guys say that, you're gonna try to run to opposite ends of the field here. As you guys are running, Justin's gonna try to tag as many of you as he can. Whoever he tags, you will stay here in the middle with him. We'll have more taggers in the middle, less of you on opposite end, make sense? Yes, no, kinda, sorta? Okay, so, but we do need a boundary line. So let me have the staff make a boundary line for me right here. Boundary line on this opposite side will be the tall light pole to, we'll just use this ditch as the boundary, so don't fall in the ditch, please. That's good, right there. So we got a boundary here with the staff. If you step out of boundary, you automatically become a tagger, okay? Like I said, watch your step. We are in a little bit of a slant here, so just watch for any holes. Don't push each other, don't trip each other. You guys ready? I'm gonna give Justin the microphone. What are you guys gonna say when he says, "What's for, what time is it? Dinner time, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right, everybody, you guys ready? <laughs> All right. What's for dinner? I just throw them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, you guys haven't run across yet? All right, all those that tag, come join me in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you got tagged, please come back to the middle. I saw at least two people get tagged. There was too many. <laughs> All right, now we got two taggers, I guess. 
So it's harder when you have only one or two taggers, but you have all these people. So let's make it a little more difficult. My boundary line on the opposite end, can you guys take two big steps forward? Now you guys that are on the ends, instead of running now, what I'm gonna have you guys do, instead of running, you're gonna keep your feet together, you're gonna hop now. Okay? Set. Go! Justin's out of breath, so I'll just say go now <laughs> instead. Stay the boundary, stay in the boundary. <laughs> Remember, if you get tagged, stay in the middle. Don't run to the opposite end. You got it? Okay. If you got tagged, stay in the middle. All right. Let me have the taggers line up right here in the middle now. And everybody who got tagged. Yeah, you can tag as many people as you can, okay? That's the point of the game. We want less runners, we want more taggers here in the middle. <clears throat> so now let me have the taggers. You guys, this group here. Let me have you guys all lock arms. From here to here, lock arms. Taggers on this side, from Justin to gentleman at the end with the hat, you guys lock arms as well. So now we got two chains in the middle. Everybody on the ends, we're going to hopping again, but only on your right leg. If you don't know where your right leg is, I can't help you, okay? So same idea, hopping across on one leg, on your right leg. Taggers, you got to keep arms locked. Try to tag as many people as you can. You guys got it? Set. Go. So my taggers got to work as teams now because they're all joined at the arm. You guys work together now. Don't dislocate anybody's shoulders. You guys move together. If you get tagged, stay in the middle. Got man down. It's okay, he's a freshman, he'll bounce back. All right, taggers again in the middle. Lock arms again. I think we got time for maybe one, maybe two more times through, okay? So let's try to get as many people tagged as we can. Remember taggers, you guys are locked at the arms, so you guys work together. You guys ready? We're hopping again, but on the left leg this time, your left leg only. Set, go. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Good job. Taggers back to the middle. We'll do this one more time. Let me have my boundary line on that side. Take again two big steps forward. We're shrinking our boundary line just a little bit. Okay, now all my taggers, let me have you guys all lock arms so we just have one continuous chain right in the middle. <laughs> all right, we got more people coming, just make some room. Wow, you guys got almost everybody. Everyone's almost here now. Okay, let's break the chain right at Justin here. Okay. So, you guys on the end, you can go back to running because you need all the help you can get now. 
You guys ready? Set. Go. Break, break team for me. Break team for me. Thank you. There's only a few left. Get them. I'm a tagger now, yes. We got one left. Corner him, corner him. Okay, I think we got everybody. Good job. So everybody, thank you for participating. Let's go ahead and head back to the tables now. Thank you. If you brought water, if you brought a bag, a hat, take it with you. Deep students, I found two things on the I wish I had prizes for you. I don't really want to survive. Did we have a lone survivor over here? Someone who didn't get tagged? You did? All right. Well, thank you guys for participating. You guys took directions very well. It made this very easy for me. Thank you so much. Like I said, we will have another activity tomorrow with Justin. He's gonna be doing out uh, Zumba class. So please bring some comfortable shoes and something to wear for a workout because it, it's harder than it sounds. So that'll be tomorrow morning at 8.30 with Justin. Um, I will be hosting an event next Monday and Wednesday here on the Diné College campus. So it'll be an outdoor hit workout. I'll have more uh, fitness equipment for that. So keep an eye out for that. Again, I thank you for your time and you all have a good day. Thank you. Good job, everybody. Uh, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay. <laughs> so everybody, just go ahead and take a breather. We do have the restrooms in that building there. Um, let's come back in five minutes for our next speaker. What will you be? It's more than just a question. It's a challenge. A challenge to take the next step to discover your calling to carve out your future. A challenge to pursue the knowledge and skills you need to impact the world around you. And we want to help get you there. So the real question is, what will you be at the next college? Your future continues at Diné College. What will you be? It's more than just a question. It's a challenge. A challenge to take the next step to discover your calling to carve out your future. A challenge to pursue the knowledge and skills you need to impact the world around you. And we want to help get you there. So the real question is, 
Where will you be at Diné College? Your future continues at Diné College.
Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes? All right, well, we wait for our next guest speaker. Do you guys want to play a game? Yeah. All right, so everyone stand up. I promise you this will not involve a lot of cardio. <laughs> okay, so here, here is the game. I'm gonna explain the rules and let's make sure we're all on the same page. You guys all know how to play rock, paper, scissor? Yeah. Yes, okay. So what I want you, <laughs> this games are rule, the, simple, the rules are simple. Rock, paper, scissor, go, winner, okay? So you guys are going to battle each other, okay? Here's the, here's the catch. If I if we play rock, play rock paper scissor, um, come here. It's, a tournament. It, it's gonna be a tournament. Yes. So we'll play. What's your name? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do paper. You do scissor. Oh, okay. I'll do paper. You do scissor. Okay. I'll do paper. You do scissor. Okay. Okay. So he beat me. So now I'm gonna follow him. Do you guys know what a hype man is? So I'm just gonna hype, I'm gonna hype, I'm gonna hype, okay? So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna say his name, and then I'm gonna follow him. He's gonna go p play someone else. Whoever he plays, if he wins, they join my crew now, and we're all gonna hype this one person. Eventually, what will happen is we're gonna have two big groups and one a big face-off. But you have to say their name. You're their hype man, so you're gonna say, go, 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 go. If their name's Demarius, go, Demarius, go. You know what I mean? You guys get the rules? All right, let's go play. Come on, cheer on your captains. Let's go, hype them, hype them.
is done. Is there anyone else to challenge Michael? Right here. All right, here we go. Battle of the century. Last one. Hype your person. You haven't tried yet? Okay. Last time, give him one last chant. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, so I think our next guest speaker is here. Let me introduce our provost, Dr. Garrity. She'll be up to give a speech. At Right. And I'm here at Diné College as the provost. And how many of you know what provost is? Raise your hand. yeah. Anybody know what a provost is? It's basically just overseeing the academic programs here at the college. You know, the AA programs, the bachelor's and the master's degree. AA How many of you are able to speak or understand Navajo out there? Just a couple and the rest. Um, do you kind of understand or... Um, not really, just kinda, oh, okay. Cause I wanna go back and forth using both the language. And this morning I was thinking about what can I say to the students here that are participating at Diné College? And you're here at this symposium and the symposium is Yego Awatle Symposium, and a lot of you probably hear that in different ways and different terms from your your elders, your grandparents, yeah. And how many of you still have grandparents that you talk with a lot? Good, Jeanne. And then you guys have, um, you know, conversation and having an understanding. To, you probably hear a lot of stories, yeah, especially during the winter. Do you still hear stories from your grandparents? Oh, Jeanne. What about songs, like different types of songs? Yeah, good. And then prayers. You hear your grandparents praying too? Yeah, Jeanne. So ageists, uh, you listen to those. And then as you're growing here, you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was questioning. You know, a lot of times we're, we're told to listen, huh? You know, you hear that a lot from our elders. But one of the things that we don't do much of is ask questions. How many of you ask a lot of questions from your elders? Good. We have about four. And, and a lot of you are probably just listening, yeah? That is not... Um, you're you're doing that. So you you in Western perspective, you hear a lot about the questions where, why, what, when, where, and how, right? But in Navajo, it's a little bit different. Sometimes you don't have those um, questions for your elders, or really just ask those questions that um, you think 
might spark your curiosity. And so in that sense, I'm, that's what I wanted to really talk about today of the importance here at Diné College. Here at Diné College, um, a lot of emphasis is on the culture. The the things, the way of life that surrounds us, our environment here. This beautiful sunlight that we have and winter coming, um, approaching, and it's fall. Auto, you have also the stories that come with it. We have history, a lot of nake nahane. You probably hear different types of stories from your teachers and those that um, are in the classrooms with you about different winter stories or history. The long walk. How many of you heard of the long walk and studied about it? Good. And I'm sure there's an assignment where you go back home and ask the questions, right, from your their grandparents or someone, what is it? Auto again, the songs too, as well. So in that essence, you know, we have our, our very emphasis here. We have history, culture, and the language. Saad, um, Yaatke. And then again, I'll be asking another question from you all is, how many of you still hear your grandparents talk in Navajo? Do you listen? Good. Oh. What about your mother, your parents, your mother and father? Do they speak Navajo? Good. And you hear them talking. And, 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 and it's very soothing, right, when they're talking Navajo. Sometimes there's a misinterpretation that, you know, um, somebody is only using the Navajo language when they're getting after someone, right? And, but really, it's not. You know, it's always every, every Navajo um, word that comes out of someone's is, is mouth, their mouth is really about, you know, their careness. They care and they're really, um, it's like um, prayer. When someone talks in Navajo, it's like they're speaking or they're, they're talking to the holy people. They're really teaching all of you. And so, here at this institution, you see that corn stalk right there behind you all. And sad a, that particular corn stalk right there does a lot for the institution in terms of our words, our stories, our language, and our culture. So with that, um, I did have some talking points here, and I wanted to just go over um, kind of some of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about. So in your educational journey, you go through your K-12, right? How many of you are high school students right now? Good. You're in high school? And so you're in high school, and how many of you are seniors? And you're coming to Diné College? Why not? ASU. ASU. Why not Diné College? You can do a lot here at Diné College. And I want to talk about that. You know, I went to school here at Diné College, and I also attended ASU at the same time. But I never left here from Diné College. And, and this is the place where I can say that you can re, re, be reminded of your language, your culture, and your history. And I want to tell you a story about how I was raised by my grandparents. You know, my grandparents always told me stories. I never asked any questions. I was always following the rules. 
and then as time went on, uh, I heard songs too. And then, of course, my grandparents always prayed every day, and I always wondered why they were praying all the time, in the morning, after they ate, the evening, and everywhere they went. And it was always about the prayers of our children, so they can come and help our people and return home and here be at home. And one of the things that that my grandparents always said was, there's a school right here down the road. Why do you want to go all the way down to ASU? <laughs> Why would you want to go to a far place? You have too many responsibilities here. So my responsibilities was pretty great. How many of you still have chores? Yeah. And some of you probably have to feed the animals, right? Yep. You have to feed the animals before you have your breakfast. Yeah. Good. And, and so I had chores like that, too. I had to feed the animals. I had to do my chores first. And um, I, had a grand, I had grandparents that said, education's also at home. And when you go to school, you have to have those two hand in hand. And of course, grandparents, my grandparents had both teaching, meaning protection way. You get all the rules on that side. You know, you, you get, there's a rule, and if you break a rule, how do you fix it? With There you get the stories. So a lot of our elders, they don't just get after you. You just don't get in trouble for, there's always a reason. When, when they say no way to something, don't do that. There's always a good reason. Because afterward, they'll sit you down and they tell you a story, right? They tell you a story. And then, of course, they explain it to you. And so there's those type of teaching, and you get reminded here at the Ned College for that. You sometimes forget as you're growing up, you forget to listen, and sometimes you forget to pay attention to something. But as you grow older and you go to college and you come here to Diné College, you have elders here that remind you of all of that. You have your own stories. You have your own songs and your own prayers. You create that yourself for your livelihood. And when you get older, that's, that's something that um, you use to talk to others. So I, like I said, I started here and then I stayed here at home. But I got my degree through ASU for my bachelor's degree from ASU, but still in these classrooms, still around all of our, our faculty that are, some are still here. And then I got my master's degree here, um, at, of course, but with ASU. And then I never left to get my, um, my doctorate degree as well. I stayed home. And it's because of the chores that I mentioned earlier, your way of life. How many of you have cornfields? Yeah. And some of you might have hay fields, right? Those are some of the things that I had to pay attention to at home, along with all the other responsibilities. Aquatella, as you're growing, think about those things. Now, here at Diné College, we now offer master's degree. How many of you know that we have a master's degree program here? Anybody? Just one person? We have now master's degree here. You can get your bachelor's degree here. 
instead of you know traveling afar, you can not only just learn about your history, your culture, and your language, and you can still be here at Diné College. I hope you're all listening <laughs> because it's important that, you know, we always have to think about our Navajo people here. Um, I, I also wanted to know, I wanted to say something about um, my, my, my research. I never really talk about my dissertation, but my title of my dissertation is, um, it's been a while, so I had to read it. It says, Journey to Shil, uh, Journey, to shill sacredness, what does that mean? You probably wonder. It's really about um, about a journey through trying to listen to some of the stories that your that our elders tell us. One of the things I I learned was I had a hard time asking questions that I wanted answers for. But, you know, when does someone tell a really good story and it takes time and it takes a lot of listening and it, you know, we don't have, um, it's different when you interview someone in English, you can go and to someone and ask a question like I was posing question earlier, how many of you still speak the language, right? And it's different if you were to ask grandma that. Imagine that in your head for a little bit, how you would ask grandma a question. And you want to say, where did you learn that story from in, in Navajo? It's not, you're not going to get the response that you think is a true response. So learning how to ask that question, but you know, how... Asking question is important because in Navajo, you sit down with grandma, you don't sit at a table, you don't sit at a desk. You you actually either go into the hogan, get a cup of coffee, have a spam sandwich or something and have a different conversation first, but ask questions through stories telling your your story and then finding a way to ask the question that you want to acquire answers for. So I just wanted to share that because it's it's it can be tough, but that's something I ask each one of you students to start learning how to do is learning how to ask questions of your elders because they do want to tell their stories. They want to share their songs. They want to know that you're, um, if they want to see that you're really serious about asking a question and that you're going to really listen and you're going to put that into your heart and you're going to use that as a way to live your life and that you're going to use it in ways where you can teach others. So, I'm just giving you a small snapshot of um, this question of, or the title that was given to me, staying rooted in your culture. So being rooted in your culture is a lot about storytelling, prayers, and, and of course, you're listening, your songs, your way of life. So, so thank you students for, for um, listening to me during this time. I hope my little story stays with you as you journey through your education and that you think about coming to Diné College. It's just right here, it's very affordable. And really think about, you know, giving back to your Navajo people as you journey through your education.
Great. How many of you guys enjoyed um, Dr. G uh, Geraldine Garrity's speech on her, her teachings, her stories? Did you guys learn something? Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have your own stories? Where you come from, what you do? Yeah? <laughs> Good. All right, so right now we have a little bit more time for icebreakers. So the person I'm gonna to introduce to come up right now is our very own first year experience specialist. Her name is Trisha Roy, and she's part of our first year experience team along with our um, another team member that I forgot to introduce as well, Mercedes Johnson. She does our researching and ensuring that we're all good to go. So those are the two that you introdu were introduced to this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Trisha come up this um, to do another icebreaker while we wait. Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to Danette College. So my name is Trisha Roy. I am the first year experience specialist. Um, I've been a part of Danette College for about seven, eight years. So I just want to um, welcome everybody. Thanks for showing up. We have this beautiful day today. It's nice and sunny, not too cold. So I'll hand it over to Mercedes. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. My name is Mercedes Johnson. I am the first year research assistant. My clans are Tohene Nishle, Tachini, Pachishchi, Maidesh Gijni, Dashiche, Aro, Senjikine, Dashinale. And yeah, I recently started my position here, and I am currently a student who is pursuing my bachelor's degree. And I'll go ahead and pass it on to Gerilyn. <laughs> Yeah, uh, everyone. Shea Jarlin Jesus Yanisha. Touch it in a slit, told it in a bushes chain, as she hand dash a chain, though she shone it as another. I don't let I can learn it that Nasha. I'm from Mini Farms, Arizona, and I am a full time student here at the Net College. This is my second year here. Um, and I'm also doing work study. I'm the first year experience um, assistant. And thank you all for coming if you have. It's possible to have a voice. It's possible to explore. It's possible to be traditional. It's possible to imagine. It's possible to achieve. It's possible to define our future. It's possible to make a difference. What is possible for you? Here at Danette College, your degree is closer than you think. What will you be? It's more than just a question. It's a challenge. A challenge to take the next step to discover your calling to carve out your future. A challenge to pursue the knowledge and skills you need to impact the world around you. And we want to help get you there. So the real question is, what will you be at Danette College? Your future continues at Diné College.
All right, students, well, you're gonna have one of your very own come up and share a little bit of who they are, where they come from, um, your significance of your school. And so she's gonna come up and pick a student. So be prepared to share some knowledge and just a little bit insight on where you are, who you are and where you come from. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Kylie George. <laughs> and then she's gonna pick a student. So be prepared students. <laughs> All right, hello, most of you know me. My name is Kylie George. I'm the Director of Learning at the Tic Tic Ui School of Empowerment, Action, and Perseverance. Um, and I'm gonna introduce Maya Clark to talk a little bit about our school and what we do and what our, yeah, what our philosophy is. Can you, can you, bring, Kylie, Kylie, Kylie. Can, can you bring another student up? No, it's you. Do at least the first part. So just talk about deep what we do and like what you like about us. What do we do at deep? What do we do at Deep? Yeah. Like what's Deep style? Maybe our core values. Like we're just kinda like an outside school, right? Can I say that? Yeah, like exper like, experiential. Okay. Um, okay, so <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> um so deep is kind of like a outside school. I guess that's what I like about it. It's more uh, involved with, I guess, earth. Um, and yeah, that's what I like about it. It's all cool. What are your favorite activities that we do at deep? Um, my favorite activities at deep that we do, uh, probably hiking, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, Maya. Can I go? Can <laughs> yeah. I, okay. <laughs> All right, so for our next section, we're gonna wait, as we're waiting for Chijbad to come, we're gonna um, introduce our very own Jaquel Begay Hodley. She does recruitment. So if you have any questions regarding the, your school, um, our Dine College School, what it provides, um, the history, Jaquel's the person to refer to on that one here. So if you've seen them out in the parades this past um, fair season, she's, she was the one who coordinated that parade. So she's gonna introduce herself, share a little bit of a icebreaker on that one. So, all right. Hey, hi everybody. Um, my name is Jokel Begay Hodley. Shay Kiaani Nishlan Toahane. Um, I am the student outreach and recruitment coordinator. So I oversee the recruitment department. Um, so a little bit about us. We travel around the reservation on and off to different high schools, different events, and just promote the college and try to get individuals into higher education. Um, an icebreaker we're gonna do is, let's see. We'll play Simon Says, if I could have everybody on this side of the field.
great. Can you guys hear me? See, yeah. All right, look, Puppy wants to join too. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, so we're gonna welcome our next uh, presenter here. She comes from Shiprock, New Mexico. She is a mother, a grandmother, caregiver, community-based care coordinator, and a stand-up comedian. For the last 24 years, she has coordinated resources to support families on the reservation. She ensures that the following through of plans with specialists and providers to reassure that people on the reservation are receiving a higher quality of care despite having limited access to community centers, hospitals, hosp and clinics. She intervenes as a support system for families when they lack an advocate for their needs while also translating and interpreting their plans of care into Navajo language. So I just wanna welcome um, our comedian here, Chijba, is what she goes by. So she'll introduce herself and she'll share a little bit. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, good morning or afternoon. Wait, what time is it? What time? 11.31. And how many of you here are college students? High school students? And only two of you could tell me it was 11.31. What kind of schedule are you guys on? All right. We are going to get loud. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. That's the kind of crowd. If you want to come sit on the grass, come sit on the grass. You don't got to sit on a chair. Come on. Come on. Let's sit on the grass. Let's get comfortable. Let's do this. Okay. First of all, oh, he's all like, I want to be part of the show. First of all, can you guys say Jijba real quick? Yeah. Come on now. One more time. I want to hear you say it loud and proud. Jijba. Yeah. Well, first of all, you guys are the Chijis of them all, and you guys, this is, you will talk about the boss. So I'm Chijba, yay! Did you not hear her say I'm a grandma? You're like, oh shoot, we didn't hear that part, huh? Then they're, they're, they're like, you, come here, in the green. Yes! How cool? I see you want to be a part of the show, Arizi. Ah, uh, cool. This is my, I brought my translator today. I'm not a translator, I don't speak. It doesn't matter, that's your job today. No. So I'm gonna speak to you in Navajo and whatever, um, he's gonna translate for me today, okay? And five, four, three, two, one, I don't want you to say, I don't know, I know nothing, I don't wanna hear none of that, you're just gonna go with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ayat, ehe, hunya, ah. Di kwee, khe, la. Ah, then he's so crazy, oh. Uh, hello. Uh, 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 I guess. With salt. Hi, again. Uh, roasted and with salt, yeah. Oh. Roasted and with salt. Okay, go sit down. I'm not going to pay you, okay? Thanks, though. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, Shiazer. All right. What school are you guys from, first of all? All I kept hearing was D, 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 D. Okay. Uh, apparently, it's very important. That I, I still hear D. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for being here, first of all. Okay. So here we go. When I go on to the Navajo Nation, a lot of times people will say, Chijwa, you have a way with words. You have a way with maintaining your language and your culture. And they're like, Chijwa, 
When you go out into the community, you have a platform to speak on. We want you to take advantage of that. We want you to speak to our people, our younger ones, our older ones, especially now with this pandemic, especially with the past, with the due to the hantavirus. They're like, we want you to speak to them and we need you to listen because there's an environmental risk. There are hazards in the environment and we want you to listen. We want you to make them listen. So I said, okay, sure. So they gave me this PSA due to environmental hazards and then in the past of virus, and I was driving when I was, I was driving out to see the pinyon trees and I thought oh yeah okay I got it that was a reminder so first of all it has to do with of course you know we we know about the earth we know about pinyon nuts that we know about how that helps and nurtures us and nutrient the nutrients we get out of that so first of all how many of you guys like pinyon nuts let me hear it Woo! how many of you guys like it salted Yes, okay, how many of you guys like it roasted and salted? Yes, 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 okay. And some of you might not be about the pinion nuts, maybe you're more about the almond nuts, right? How many of you like cashew nuts? Almond nuts, peanuts, okay, got it, okay. So here it goes, for those of you, this is what I gotta share for you. Ahoya, neshinda has lingo. Di neshinda ha sahido neshin kanda nihi. Ah, chira bet kanda tala wasa bet kanda kisa yats eh. Eh, ishi na wa chanda balish andi ata pa bini na hi den denis kahin bini na zel inin bini na zit kate. Eh, zel ab chanda gita den. Ako eh bini na tush ne ah. Ashkori, Ashkori, please wash your nuts. <laughs> I'm not sure why they haven't called me back yet, but I thought I did a pretty good job. Now, some of you are probably that old school, like, mm, D, that old lady said, wash your nuts. No, I said wash your pinion nuts. I said cashew nuts. I said almond nuts. I need you. I saw some kids. You're crazy. Your mind went all cray cray on you. I didn't say that. Anywho, so that's going to kind of give you an idea how Chishma goes. Now we're going to wind it down a little bit. Okay, so show of hands again. How many of you are going, are in college right now? Woo, congratulations. How many of you have plans of going to college? Okay, good. How many of you may have plans or are undecided and might want to go straight into the workforce? You just want to get out there and make that money. Good. How many of you are planning on going into the military? Sweet, okay. And so some of you, some of you all have choices. That's cool. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story about Chishma. Okay, I'm gonna be squinting a little bit, so. All right, so Chishba, the story of Chishba. I like to start with college. I went to college back in the 90s. Back in, I'm from the 1900s. Anybody out in the audience from the 1900s? Woo, thank goodness you guys are honest. Do you know how many places I go to at the chapped house? I'm like, who's all from the 1900s? Those grandmas in the back with their coffee. I'm like, really? You're not from the 1900s? Okay. But anywho. So I went off to college in the 1900s, and I went to Eastern New Mexico University, got my BS in sociology and psychology. I discovered that's exactly what it means. BS. Nay. They're like, then why do we go to college? You're supposed to motivate us. I'm saying. <laughs> Really, really study and, and figure out what it is you want to study. I love sociology, I love psychology, I love sociology more, which is why I enjoy having a platform like that, like this, so that I could kind of communicate with others and do that, not, not offer psychology, but understand and know where the gaps are and do all of this and all of that, the transition piece. That's why I do what I do. Now, eventually I'd like to master that BS. That one of I gave it a minute. Thank you. So if the admin here has a graduate program for me to master my BS, I would appreciate it. Let me know. Hook me up. So I went off to college, and back then I was in my 20s. How many 20-year-olds are here? Woo! I got some about you 20-year-olds here in a little bit. So I went it's, went to college in my 20s, right? And when I went to college. I was contacted by a local elementary school because I went to a school 
I was 0.0.1% Native American at the university, and then I was again 0.0001% within the community of indigenous people. So if you need a visual, gentlemen, if you could kindly stand, <laughs> that he's like, this, that's 0.001%. No, I'm just kidding. I'm only teasing, I'm only teasing. I made him come back this way. Hashi, I don't know where he was going. I said, you're on Navajo land. You'll be late anyway. Come watch my show, but it's not. I made him turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I just initiated you. You're going to be late to your other event, but come along. You're going to laugh with us. So at that university, I had a local area elementary school contact me, right? And so they contacted me. Achun! Did you see what I said about 001%? I like how he's easel. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> I'm only kidding. They're listening. You know, you're fine. I'm just teasing you. So I went there, and the teacher called me, and she goes, Ishba, today we have Indian Day. We would like for you to come to Indian Day at our local elementary school. I was like, Indian Day? What the heck is Indian Day? Is the, uh. in, my, in my Navajo-ness, I was like, Indian is the Chini. This is, this is not India. Columbus thought he discovered India. Sure, I'll come. Hey. So I walked into the gymnasium door, opened up the door, and inside the gymnasium door, non-natives running around, they're like, I was like, these. here, in fact, you guys are, sit right here, gather around, children, gather around, come on, you're my prop, I love that I have a row, oh, no, you're supposed to run around and go like this, because that's what I, there you go. Okay, now sit down. Y'all didn't tell me I was gonna have little kids here that I had to manage too. <laughs> Who's the bus driver? I forget the teacher. Who's the bus driver to these ones? No, I'm playing. So anywho, so then, so just like that, they're running around with their paper feathers, head, paper bandanas, headbands, you know, and I'm from the 70s. I was born in 72. Dang, I heard, whoa, she's old. <laughs> that was like, she's like an Anasazi. She's all ancient, huh, that one? <laughs> I think that's James or June's or Ernie, one of them. But anywho, so I was like, you know, boyfriends, I'm ignorant. I'm from the 70s. I used to watch a black and white TV that had a knob. That's the best TV, yes, black and whites. I used to do tech support at the age of seven. Whenever the TV would get static, mom and auntie would be like, Chish, go climb on the roof and Hanankis, turn the antenna. They're like, don't get struck by the lightning. <laughs> that, I did tech, I put that on my resume now too, tech support since 1976. <laughs> so anywho. Being that I was ignorant, you know, I was like, okay. So I see the children. The teacher says, children, gather around, gather around, sit down, sit down. So I'm at their Indian day. And then all of a sudden the teacher says, today we have a real live Indian princess. In my mind, I was like, Chidi, I've never met a real live Indian princess. Oh my gosh, I thought John Wayne got them all. <laughs> Remember, I'm ignorant, I'm from the 70s. I used to cheer for John Wayne, hoping he'd get all the Indians, because I didn't want the Indians to get our land. It wasn't until I went to college at Eastern Mexican University and studied Southwest Indian, and I realized I'm the Indian. I was like, Chidi, once again. <sighs> so anywho. And then so it's all like, a real life Indian princess. Dang, I've never met one. Also, a real life one as opposed to a dead one. We wouldn't want a dead one, right? <laughs> so anywho, and then they're looking at me, those little jizzies. I was a real life Indian princess, Chini! I didn't have to butcher or make fry bread? I was like, what? So being that I'm chizzy, and you probably have a chizzy grandma or a chizzy auntie, you know how it goes, right? She's not going to correct them. She's going to like, oh, I'm princess. Yeah. <laughs> so then the teacher says, chizba, 
I hear your people speak a language that saved this country through the Navajo Code Talkers. Can you share a little bit about your language? No, yeah. In the back of my head, that's when I realized how Navajo I was because I could hear my grandma's voice and my auntie's voice in the back of my head saying, I don't care. Like, no way, whatever, you better don't. Yeah, that's what I heard. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll share something. So this is a piece I shared with them that day in the gymnasium at their Indian day. First of all, for those of you who were born in the 1900s, when you hear this piece, it may tug at your heart. It's okay, let it roll, let it process, yeah. All I ask is that if it opens up a can of worms, like they say, all I ask is that you go to IHS, or I like to call it I had surgery, because you walk into IHS, right? You might have gone in there to buy a, uh, I don't know, it says Snickers bar off the vending machine next to you. No, you're like, Grandma, Grandma, I have an appointment. I have surgery next week. They're like, ha, ah, surgery. Yes, you just went in there for a candy bar. No, I know. I went to IHS. But anyhow, if you go for behavioral support, go on a Tuesday. Do not go on a Wednesday to IHS because they'll take out your gallbladder and your appendix on a Wednesday. Go on a Tuesday to have a two-for-one special, okay? All right, so this is the piece I shared that day. So here we go. Remember, I'm the 00.0.0.0001% Navajo there. Here we go. Do Janita. Janne. Ah, da, ah, quit Janita. Janne. That Blagana teacher was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so profound, Ishma. What did you say, Ishma? Oh my God, that sounds so powerful. Nay, uh, in the back of my head, I was thinking, the people who speak. Nay, she's like, oh my gosh, could you please share more, Ishma? Please share more. I was like, yeah, the lot. So hold on, let me get in touch with the spirit world. <laughs> Mother Sky, Father Earth, my bad. Father Sky, Mother Earth. Don't forget, I'm from the 70s, I'm ignorant. So this is the piece I shared, I said. She's like, oh my gosh, give her her land back. Give her her land back. Those of you who may or may not know, it's actually a nursery rhyme about a dog, but what they don't know won't hurt them, right? <laughs> and then, and trust you, this is what you're gonna experience. We are preparing you for this. You may laugh now, but one day you're gonna be the real live Indian. You're gonna realize you guys don't, they're gonna say, oh, I thought all the Indians were dead. You're gonna have that conversation, so prepare yourself. So then, she says, Tishma, I hear your people, the Navajo people, read petroglyphs. I was like, Edia might have been absent that day. <laughs> At the day school. Hey, yeah, there was that one time when I didn't make it because uh, I just got really sick. So, Edia, that bitch, they were tight. Petroglyphs, petroglyphs. Those of you from the 70s know what I'm doing, huh? Syllables. Petroglyphs, petroglyphs. <laughs> so, anywho. On the wall they had drew, I guess all that week they prepared for Indian Day. And they drew lines on a paper on the wall and it had squiggly lines, diamonds, triangles, squares, stars. And she says, Tishba, being that your people read petroglyphs, could you please share with us what does this say? I was like, Edie, I don't know what that says. <laughs> but I didn't say that, because I need to be professional. Nay. Nee so I said, okay, I'll read it for you. Let me get in touch with the spirit world. Da, 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 you know. I said, that star. That song. It spoke to me and it said, the Mayflower has returned. All you little chitties, get on it. And they, yeah, oh, there's not, I didn't say that. That would be all mean. I said, all you Republicans to the left and all you Democrats to the right and liberals down the middle. Bye. Yeah, we'll clean on anyway. So I didn't say all that. That'd be rude. You don't say stuff like that. 
So anyway, but no, actually I said, I saw that star and I said, the Dallas Cowboys will never make it to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I didn't hurt your feelings, did I? You don't bleed stars, do you? Okay. Whew. I've done that before, and do you know how crazy it got with adults? It was like there was one lollipop, and somebody threw it in the middle of at recess at a casino when I said that, and everybody got all crazy. I was like, dang, I'm so sorry. So then she says, Chizba, I hear your people are one with the drum. I was like, hot tea, it's too much to put on a Navajo. I was like, in the 90s, I was like, that's a lot of expectations you're putting on me as an Indian. By that time, I was like, yes, I'm Indian. Can I go back now to my little room in my dorm room? So I was like, okay. So she says, I hear your people are one with the drum. She says, could you share a little bit about your music, your songs? Right. Had I known then, I would have sang that, but I didn't. That one, just all ready to sing, all beauty way over there. Aw, and John. So, this is a song I sung. For our men, our young men, where are you? All our men on the Navajo Reservation, all of you, raise your hand. Yes, yes, all our men, raise your hand. The mister that just dropped his baby off, raise your hand, all our men on the Navajo Reservation. Okay, this is for you, this piece. This is a song I shared. I told her that day, I said, I will share a song with you. This song has made our men the men that they are today, the fierce warriors of our reservation, our protectors of the land, our shepherds of our lands. She's like, oh, please, just please, please share, please. So this is the song I sung, Prepare Yourselves, Nay. Okay, here we go. Amarillo by morning. Up from San Antonio. Some of you are like, hey, that's George Strait. I know that's my uncle. Nay. So anywho, that is that. Um, so that's kind of how college goes, being an indigenous person. So prepare yourselves. Once you go past, say Lee, this is your starting grounds. You're going to go further out, and you're going to become some type of corporate representative, admin, whatever it is, running an enterprise, running your own business, and just prepare yourselves. So when they say, Jijba, we want you to come to our seminar because you're our first Native American ever to work with our enterprise. I want you to say something to our people. So when they open that conference room and you walk into the ballroom and there's everybody in their suits and ready to whatever for the whole day, you know, you got your nice dining room table with etiquette. Keep your elbows off the table when you sit at a nice dining room center and put your napkins on your lap. And I want you to do this. Shalicha. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's your homework for tonight. Okay. So now you're probably thinking, well, Ishma, we hear your grandma now. So what do you do now? Oh, I do all kinds of stuff. I do important stuff. Like I pick up poop all day long for my daughter. She has a dog. Okay. I do stuff like I hang out at Walmart, like James and Ernie talk about. I'm from Farmington. They said Shiprock, but I'm not from Shiprock. I'm actually from Farmington. I'm living currently in Farmington. I'm actually from Kabijinaska, right over the mountain, just on the other side of the mountain, Cove, Arizona. In fact, the first time I made my debut here in Sealy as Chijba, I did it here at Sealy. That was the first time I stepped onto the platform as Chijba. And I remember sharing a story about the, the road that comes down from the mountain, the Kajigay Mountain. Whose uncle was part of that? Anybody that made that road? Were they drunk or what? Why? It's just like this. I was like in first gear all the way down because I'm older now. I'm like almost 49 years. I'm 49 years old, so I don't mess around yet. Plus, my brakes are all not bought either, so I had to put myself in first gear, so I'm all going down. And I was like, why didn't they just make it all as done, like straight through? But anyhow, so I barely made it here. But as a grandma, I'm out. I hang out over at Farmington. And... Let me tell you what us Navajo women have done to Farmington. They had to put two Walmarts in Farmington because of us. Two! 
They put in the west side for us, Navajos, and the east side is for the other people. And there's only like six miles in between. Chach Ishan, that's how rowdy we are. You know why? Because this is us. When James and Ernie were talking about me, they, uh, when they were talking about me at Walmart, I was like, hey, you're talking about me. This is literally us at Walmart. This is what I do all, all day as an indigenous person in, in Farmington. I represent. This is me at Walmart and my, with my shopping cart. But deep down inside, I'm like, oh my gosh, I made it to Walmart. Ah! Look at all the summer items are on sale. They all have yellow tags. Ah! Yes, I came out a perfect time. Mm -hmm. You know who they are, right? And then we take forever in Walmart, don't we? Yeah, we like to make sure, because our just like James Ernie talked about, the the cart, that is our ride. You're right, that's our Suburban. Shoot, I buckle my children up, my, my two-year-old in the front, and I buckle them up, and I give them my purse every time, and I was like, hey, I said, you watch my purse, and they, uh, he's only two. And I get, make sure I give them hot Cheetos and Pepsi, you know, keep them all nur nur yeah, give them what they need. And so, oh my goodness, I go down the bread aisle and there's all the Yazi girls. Kim Yazi, Courtney Yazi, Chloe Yazi, Kim Yazi, Edie, those Yazi girls. They always look so pretty, their hair looks pretty. Are there any Yazis up in here? Uh-huh, yep, those Yazi girls. So that's why when you go to West Walmart, make sure you tell your sister, your mom, make sure, do your hair, the Yazi girls at West Walmart in Farmington. Because you walk down the aisle and you go into the bread section, yeah. And there's the Aussie girls all gossiping, all gossiping. And I'm that grandma with a shirt, yeah, that from that Just Move It shirt from 1987. With my purse that's all chained out from all the thought it's been to, yeah. My pretty purse and I'm standing there all stroke, pushing my shopping cart with my two-year-old in it. And I see the Yazi girls, and they're standing there, and they're standing gossiping. They're like, "Oh, eh, da ash on, da ash on, the na ash la khat ish on. Oh, eh, beje seli de os khat na o o. Oh, she na, oh, na skobni ye na ne she give na elwadi. Oh, she na asan da has khan. Oh, she ba eh khat ish da ne a konya kamari di cheese da baje ni sa khat ish on. You know that whole gossip is going down there, and you're like, what in the world is going on? They're just gossiping about the father who went off to Saley College to better himself, and he could have at least had left commodity cheese for his family, something or other, you know. So that's what's going down at Walmart. And then you hear the non-natives going by, and they're like, oh, I think the Navajos are going to take their land back. It's going to happen tonight in the bread aisle. Nay. No, that's not what's going on. So that's kind of what I do in the meantime on my off days. But most of the time, I'm like I said, I'm a mom. During the pandemic, oh my goodness, so much has happened during the pandemic. I've had to learn a lot. I have a 20 year old. 20 year olds, let me hear a shout out again. Let me hear you guys. Where are you guys at? All right. You're like, ooh, how exciting, huh? Okay, first of all, when I was in my 20s, I remember going through a phase like, who am I? Are you guys going through that phase? Raise your hand if you are. Who am I? What is the significance of my being on this earth, on Mother Earth, Naya? When you're indigenous, it's even worse. Among the shepherds of these lands, who am I? Amongst the pinion nuts that have fallen off the trees and the pine. Don't do that to yourself, Naya. So anyway, my son, who's in his 20s during the pandemic, came to me and said, Mom, who am I? She's not. I was like, oh, great. Here we go. I went through that phase. And so I said, sit down. Yeah, I'd like in there. Sit down, sit down. And he says, Mom, you mean to tell me I wasn't planned? I wasn't planned, Mother? Who am I? What is the meaning of my existence? I was like, meaning of your existence? What's the plan? Is that night was planned? Nay. <laughs> So get over your dramatic, who am I? Just look in the mirror every morning and say, that night was planned. That's who you are. Naya. Uh-huh. <sighs> she said, oh, no. But don't go home and ask your family. She ought to. What, ha what I say at Say Lee Campus stays on Say Lee Campus. <laughs> So anywho, there's a lot been going on. And the other thing I've had to learn is I have to live in two worlds. Urban Navajo. Any urban Navajos here, you probably know who they are once I share this piece with you. This is you as an urban Navajo. 
Okay, picture me talking to somebody, a uh, uh, sales representative on the phone. Here I go, Urban Navajo. Hello? I just recently purchased a dress from your department store, and I was just wondering if I could return. Yes, exactly. Yes, 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 yes. It doesn't quite look as flattering as it did when I tried it on in your dressing room when I tried. Yes, exactly. Pandemic 15. You, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I've got another call coming in. So I was wondering, oh, yeah, you are too kind. Oh, my goodness. You're so sweet. Yes. Can I just put you on hold brief? Yes. Okay. I'll put you on hold. And it won't take but a minute. Okay. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Hold on. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hot and all of us. Hot is a. Ah. Sean, children. Sean, children. Children be careful. So, Nina. Scared or hot is a. Are you still there? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Yes. I okay, bring in a receipt. Okay, I will do that. And your stores are all oh, oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh, Tiffany, I will do that survey. You are wonderful. You have a wonderful day. Okay, bye-bye. Urban Navajos, who are they? Point them out. Point them out. Yeah, that's an Urban Navajo. So that's what I do now. I just do different stuff. And there's one in particular I want to, oh, there's children here and I can't quite do it. There's 20 year olds. I'm gonna have to say that for another day. So we'll just leave it at that one. Um, but if ever you have a chance or an opportunity um, to come and see my show, uh, if you ever ever at Sunray Casino, sometimes you'll find me at Sunray Casino. Uh, one of the casinos I suggest and I recommend you come to one of my shows. We I, we do the after hour shows. That's how rowdy it can get. So I want to share that one with you here, but I can't do that. I'm trying to think if I can. Buy. How many of you are like above 18? You are not above 18. You guys should go play on a merry-go-round somewhere. Yeah. Do they even still exist? <laughs> They're like, they don't play on stuff like that. They get, we could get sued. Kitty, that's what we played on. That was like, that was like the carnival all our times. We didn't even need tickets for that. We actually rode those suckers during lunchtime for free. And we would get on that metal thing that would get so hot and it would just spin really fast. Yes, that's why we all have TBI, traumatic brain injury, because of this. So we flew out. That was the goal. I swear. And those of us who were all brave, because I was all ADD, I'm still ADD. If you haven't noticed, that's why it's like a storyteller with on a roller coaster. That's what I am. So back then, I was all tiny, so I'd be on the merry ground. And you were a, can I say badass while I said it? You were a badass on the res when you're going in circles and you were like hanging on with your dear life. And you're like, don't skip the door, skip the door, skip the door, skip the. You know, that meant like, how would you interpret that? Like, uh, it's not fast enough. It's not fast enough until you went, that's what you do until you went flying off and a limb came off. That's when it would, you know, that's how we were raised back in the day. Now it's a little bit different, but it's, you know, it's all good. But oh my goodness, I love being a grandma now. There's so much I have learned. I really want to do this piece, and I'll try to modify it as much as I can. So during the pandemic, I've learned. Oh, no, it's not appropriate. Dang it. <sighs> okay. We'll just leave that one be. Yadala. And you're going live, too, aren't we? Are we kind of? Yeah, okay, it's, it's got to stay family, family friendly. Okay, so yeah, so just come to one of my shows, okay? And I'm trying to think of a bit, huh? Yeah, just like that. Tell grandma and grandpa to go and tell them you'll play at the playground, okay? Yeah, so, anywho, all right, so I'm going to share this one last piece with you, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's been a fun one that I get to share with everybody. It's pretty much being about a mom and this new world. I'm 49 years old, like I said, right? When you turn 49 years old, it's a whole nother story. Like back in my 20s, I was all, yeah, I was all hot. Yeah. 
when you get older in your 40s, it's a whole nother, like right now, the sun, I'm like, Mother Earth, can you turn down the sun? Khadisha, it's hot, it's a whole nother hot, hotness, all right? Now that I'm older. Some of you may understand when I see that when I see that sign on South of the Road on Farmington, the um, mark here, whatever the roadside signs, and it says um, uh, drought to level one. My auntie's like, they're talking about you, Jish. I was like, dang. Yeah, yeah, that's me right now in my 40s. A whole other Like back in my 20s when I was all scared, I told my mother-in-law, my future mother-in-law, I said, if you want me to be your trophy uh, daughter-in-law, trophy wife to your son, I said, I said, this is what I want before I accept additional yeah. I said, I want the bear, I want sheep, I want lizard, I want goats, I want sea, I want horses, I want puppy. I said, not puppy, puppy dish now. I said, puppy, oh, hot cheetos, don't remote control. I said, I want puppy. And so, yeah, she hasn't paid up. So anyway, she hasn't paid up, so I said, hey, a saw lady, yeah. Because I'm Chishba, I said, um, that's not how I work. I said, I did all this for you, she didn't thought and thought that I was like this, over, uh, over hot flames like this, I was like this. You know, making her all proud. The flame is all hot, and the grandmothers are all like, my son doesn't like his fry bread. Like, can you turn it up? I'm like, what am I supposed to I can't turn up fire? How do you do this? Like, put another tree on top of that one, let it get, you know. Yeah, my eyebrows should not dizzy. They're all gone. Yeah, these zips go. They're all cinched off, you know. My hair dye is all coming, leaking, all melting off my face, you know. So I did all that for her and she hasn't paid. So I told her, I said, you know what? I said, until you pay up, I said, I want your son's it. It's umbilical cord. And she's like, hot t-shirt, Why ugly. I said, I do, I want his say. I said, go dig it up, find it. And hey, yeah, uh, I want it. But no, she's like, hey, yeah. I said, because, I said, you didn't pay me for what my worth is. I said, I'm gonna keep his, my purse that way when I shake it like this, he doesn't know why. Yeah. So always make sure you pay your dues. Anyway, that's my time, I'm Chishba, I enjoyed my time, I hope you guys enjoy, good luck in your endeavors, and I love you guys so much, and always know that you have a Chishma Sunny, a Chishma Yeji, a Chishma Shada, or Deja, whatever, but I, I, my mind and my thoughts go out to you, um, you went through a crazy time, you're still going through a crazy time, so you guys are definitely making history, so in Chicago, yeah, have a wonderful afternoon, Sally. Thank you. We wanted to present, um, if you could come back up here today. <laughs> we wanted to give you our t shirt for the symposium, as well as the lanyard. And our own, very own student made this for. Yeah, so if you want to. Oh, so she's going to put it on right now. So, <laughs> Virgie, if you want to introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah, it's a Shea Virgie Sky Inishia. I'm a student here at uh, Diné College. I recently got my associates this past May, and I just have one more year for my bachelor's in psychology. And I also make the, the earrings that she's putting on, and I also have business cards as well. So thank you for coming. <laughs> That's why they called me Chijiado. I don't care, I'll take my earrings off right in front of you guys. I have no shame. And you're getting your bachelor's in psychology. See what happens if you don't master it, you're gonna be up here, up here telling jokes. So you better get your masters. Thank you, Chijiado. Thank you, and thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our afternoon for this morning session. So we do have lunch for you all, and if you want to go ahead and get in line before um, it gets longer, and uh, yeah, thank you. Um, another round of applause.